I don't remember too many guys doing this same exact dunk. I remember J.R. Smith did around the back, but I, I threw 360 in there. So for me, this dunk is going to be legend all the time. Hey, this is Terrence Ross, former NBA player. And today we're doing Players Breakdown. 11 year career, known as a sharpshooter, high flyer, instant spark off the bench type of guy. 2013 dunk contest, my rookie year of all things. For me, this will always be like one of the most special things in my career. First dunk for me was the hardest one. I missed like the first four or five attempts and I started to feel my legs get a little tired. And so I knew that's when it started to kick in. I knew that this was the biggest dunk of the night. This was gonna set the tone for everything else that was to come. I definitely was feeling the, the, the pressure a little bit. This was the dunk that I had probably practiced the most. These misses are long. I'm starting to see the reactions on people's faces. And, oh. and I think people were behind it just enough. You know, they gave me 50s. Oh. And I, I mean, personally, if I'm watching this at home, I'm like, maybe I don't give the guy 50s on these different, you know, misses. But at the same time, man, I don't, I don't remember too many guys doing this same exact dunk. I remember J.R. Smith did around the back, but I, I threw the 360 in there. So for me, this dunk is gonna be legend all the time. Second one, I'm definitely feeling better. And even at this point, uh, I think somebody else, I think it was James White, had missed a dunk. This is actually all improvised. This dunk I did right here, I had to do it with a warm up on because I was saving my next dunk. I was gonna use it, the dunk I did next for this one, but when I saw that somebody had missed the dunk, that kind of gave me a little extra room to kind of save that for last. But uh, yeah, this is just a dunk, and I, I've been doing it since I was like, oh. you know, I threw it down with a lot of force, and it, thank goodness this one went down the first try. That to me is a perfect 50 when you get that thing to go down on the first try. Uh, I remember this was one of the second dunk I worked on the most. My childhood friend that I grew up playing basketball with from the time we were in sixth grade. For me, this is like a, one of those buddy moments that I need. I was like, you're gonna go out here with me and help me win this thing. So uh, shout out to Terrence Jones, man. Uh, it, it's all about the past. I had all the faith in my, in my guy to, to go out there and help me. I came up with this one. I knew that I wanted to go through the legs over somebody. So going into this dunk contest, I already knew the dunk. If I ever made it to the, to the championship, I knew the dunk I wanted to go to. Uh, it, it worked out. Uh, it didn't take too long. So I, I pulled that one off and you know, that was the icing on the cake. Growing up, my favorite part of All-Star Weekend was the dunk contest. More so than the All-Star game, more so than the three-point contest or the skills challenge. Seeing guys dunk was, I think, one of the things that always captivated me especially as a young kid. So having the opportunity just to be in the NBA and then having another opportunity to, to be a participant in the NBA dunk contest was, I mean, it's full circle, man. To know I went out there and did that was, uh, it was a great moment.